Hey everybody, good morning. It is uh, April 9th. I just want to say happy anniversary to my beautiful wife. It's been two years since we got married and um, I have to say that, um, wow, like, wow that I pick the perfect woman. Um, very, very happy and um, been with her now for six years and uh, married for two and I uh, just, um, I don't know, I told her the other day, I just don't know um, what would happen, where I'd be without her, but she is amazing. I'm very, very happy. So, um, very happy with my family and um, everybody's just been amazing. So. Um, through thick and thin, um, she's all in. So, aside from that, um, it's been about a month since I've done a video, and I guess it's all me. I've just been remiss. I haven't thought about it that much. I've been thinking a lot about my, um, my PSA numbers, my treatment for prostate cancer, and so forth. And I have to say that my, my PSA has gone up. Um, it has gone from um, 5 to 8.9 to um, to 37 and now at 58. So my doctor and I had already planned that um, unless the 37 had dropped down significantly down into the 20s or less um, that we were going to get back on an active treatment program, which we have done. So, uh, starting last week, last Wednesday afternoon, um, I am back on treatments, back on chemo, and uh, the chemotherapy I'm going through right now is called Cabazitaxel. Sounds like a fancy name. Everything else remains the same. I'm staying on Xtandi. Cabazitaxel is uh, fighting the cancer. Um, my my last PET scan, which I did think I mentioned to everyone, my last PET scan shows that my um, metastases have either shrunk or gone away. So this is kind of a preemptive shot. We don't want the PSA to stay high for long um, because that will simply mean that there will be more metastases coming my way. So um, the cabazitaxel uh, as explained to me, is going to be less um, less harsh than the taxatier that I was on, the docetaxel. Uh, so we have yet to experience that. Um, so far, I have to tell you that uh, having the treatment Wednesday afternoon, I did start to feel it Friday night. Saturday and had a kind of a bad day on Sunday. Very tired, um, a very tired, listless day Sunday. I had a little nausea, not too awful. I didn't have to throw up, I just didn't feel right. And then um, yesterday bounced back pretty well and then today completely back to normal. So that's your cabazitaxel experience from my perspective. Um, I've also uh, been trying to eat a little bit less, especially in the bad food section uh, uh, department. Um, I'm eating less bad food and I'm eating less, uh, trying to eat as much protein as I can, but less carbs. So my weight has gone down from a high of about 260, now I'm down to about 244. So my hope is that by our June, we got a little vacation planned at Margaritaville by uh, late June, I want to get my weight below 240, which is important to me um, for my head, I guess. It, it kind of proves to me that I still do have control of my weight. I don't want to feel like I've lost control um, just because I'm going through chemo and all this other nonsense. So I feel like I have control back over my weight um, and still working out four or five days a week, uh, which is very important to me again, both mentally and physically. And I think that's about where I am. Um, so, um, yeah, I think 
that's about it. Nothing else exciting going on. Oh, I did buy, not a new car, I bought a used car because I just have this, uh, I had this thing about bringing back old vehicles. It's a 2004, it's not that old, a 2004 Suzuki Vitara XL7, a two-wheel drive model, and uh, just going through a couple things right now, trying to patch it up, get it looking nice, and um, that's going to be really cool once that gets, um, well, it is back on the road technically. I got it all registered yesterday, but today I got to take it and get it all scheduled in at the car wash, and uh, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm lazy that way. Uh, I can spend a half an hour washing it myself or spend six or seven minutes at the car wash. But um, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe, please, and, and share, if you will. The, the cancer portion of this, I think, is really important, like that others hear what's going on, because uh, one out of every six or seven men do get prostate cancer, and it's not there's not a whole lot they can do to avoid it. Uh, which is the sad part. It's just going to happen. And we can blame it on diet. We can blame it on environmental factors. We can blame it on genetics, the luck of the draw, whatever. But I think there's something to be said for, um, at least once you get it, to to get a, uh, maintain a healthier lifestyle. Get yourself right uh, with your diet. Um, get yourself right with exercise. Get yourself right with God. Very important. Um, anyway, have a great day and um, peace out. Talk to you later. Bye.